welcome to another lead in with Lauren as the summer winds down. I love summer. Um, but you know, I was thinking, um, we're going to title this, uh, lead in wiggle your mouse. And, um, why? Well, because what if on your, uh, device, there was your employer planted software that watched you every minute. And if you weren't active on your keyboard or with your mouse, then uh, you were going to get docked pay because according to the software, you weren't working. You weren't active on your device. And if you're not active on your device, you're not working. Now, that is a far-fetched uh, statement that I'm trying to make to kind of get you thinking about this because... I was just reading an article about the emergence of all this software that's coming out out there that people want to put on their platforms to watch to see whether they're getting their money's worth, you know, out of team members. So this has been around for a long, forever. I mean, from the Industrial Revolution when, you know, the catwalks went out there so foremen could walk around and see whether everybody on the line was working or... You know, I remember back in the 60s, uh, this is true uh, um, from because uh, I happen to know the, ex uh, the experience that a now a multi-billion dollar construction company that the founder used to drive by on Saturday and count cars and check whose license plates were there. So, of course, what did smart engineers and other people do? They drove their cars there early in the morning. Their wives would come and pick them up and the second car they'd go about their day and then uh, drop them off later and drive the car home and you know that so many stories like that best buy had the famous story about in minneapolis in their head office that people would have two sets of coats in the winter time one time one coat to leave on their chair to make everybody think oh you know lauren's still around look at that guy what a hard working guy is still got his coat there and the other of course i had another coat that i used to go home and um anyway the st stories go on and on and on and it's a fair question for employers and leaders to ask, am I getting my value from the contribution of a team member? No one is arguing that. But here's what I am arguing. I think the goal should be to make sure that people understand no results equals no job. That's for everybody. Just so we're taking that off the table. Then we need to work from a position, I believe, uh, making sure that expectations are clear. And that's where the hard work comes in for knowledge workers in particular, because it's not always just a clean, it's you have to really dig in to really determine what creates value out of a role. And the question then is that would then as leaders, I think we're rather than looking for more control measurements to really watch people like this one software as an example, randomly will take a picture a screenshot of you and if you're not at your at your monitor you get docked and it does it randomly so you know the, i was reading about the anxiety that people had about going to the bathroom because they didn't want that picture to come out a camera to take a shot and and because x number of times that happens then you get into the red zone or whatever and you know you're potentially going to be you know you know uh, brought up for some form of performance management or discipline so i mean who wants that i mean what we want is great results and people continually growing and developing and learning and leaders providing a way for people to be successful that they can contribute and thrive that's not like that takes work care leadership uh attention uh caring for the individual why would we go to a default mechanism like a piece of software to do what leaders have a responsibility to do it. And that's to really help people grow and develop and get great results, as opposed to using the software as a, as a, some set of measurements to pound the hell out of people on the head when it's very difficult. In the article I read, a couple of the people that actually developed the software in a couple of cases, when it was applied in their circumstances, were so distraught that how the software was being used, they quit. They just, they just, it was used for evil as opposed to used for help. Now, you know, um, and I mean, this has happened in all industries. Radiologists are getting docked if 
they're not, you know, doing their work with the software and one of the healthcare companies catches them not immediately checking, you know, x-rays. Well, come on. That's not the way the world works. So at least in my head, I just don't think that's the way we get the best results from people. Now, information that can be helpful. Um, and so partly it's the way it's being used as well. But to catch people doing the wrong stuff, as opposed to reinforcing them to help them do the right stuff and recognize that human beings, it's not about just constant screen time. As a matter of fact, in order to be healthy, which is now one of the big issues in the workplace, we need a little more time away from screens. Um, in fact, some organizations, and I'm giving some thought to this, are actually inviting people to have audio calls as opposed to Zoom calls all the time or video calls. And now I'm normally, I like the camera on. But, you know, sometimes it's just a relief not to have the damn camera on. And maybe we ought to just, you know, legitimately make that part of our consideration. So there's lots going on here as we evolve and we learn how to work in the this new evolving environment for knowledge workers in particular. But overusing uh, or even inappropriately using uh, catch a software. I think that's the wrong way to go. Build trust, not distrust. Develop with clarity and support, not with just uh, relying on data that can tell you a lot of different stories, not just whether someone's actually working all the time, which doesn't make any sense anyway. There you go. What kind of leader are you going to be? Are you going to put that software on? You want it? going to have a conversation your organization about it or are you going to just kind of lean on that like a big old crutch um okay you know i'm not going to start getting annoying okay thanks hang out with us wiggle that mouse because someone could be watching and you need that keystroke count okay uh you get my drift thanks hang out with us let's build great workplaces uh let's trust people and help them become even more trustworthy thanks bye for now mm -hmm.